Hello and welcome to another video from Information Technology. I'm Zia Maliki and today's video I want to show you another browser that you can use instead of using Google Chrome, Firefox or whatever browser you are currently using. It is called Brave Browser. Like most other browsers, it is built on Chromium. Chromium is a free open source that is maintained by Chromium Project. Recently there has been another browser that's been built on Chromium as well and it is called CryptoTab Browser. If you are curious about CryptoTab Browser then I will make a separate video on that one as well. Some of the reasons that I like Brave Browser so much and why it attracted me to replace it with Google Chrome are as follows. Brave Browser uses less resources compared to other browsers. The Brave browser uses about 33% less resources than other browsers and it uses less of device memory. Page load times are up to 3 times faster. It uses less bandwidth because Brave browser comes with a built-in ad blocker called Brave Shield. It prevents ads from loading on most websites that you are visiting. It prevents things like Facebook pixels, Google Analytics and so on from tracking you on those websites. Saves you a lot of bandwidth. Now if you are living in a country like Afghanistan where I live and the internet price is very expensive, Brave Browser could be a good option for you. On the other hand, if you are using a mobile phone or a laptop with a home internet, it could also save you a lot of battery power. A newer device can last for a long time because Brave Browser uses less resources. You can earn some basic attention tokens or bat. That's enough of me talking. Now let's go as I will show you how to download and install this cool browser on your machine. Open your favorite browser and go to brave.com. Click on the download button down here. On the pop-up window click on run and wait for the download to complete. It will take some time to complete the download depending on your internet speed. So the download and installation has just completed. Let's open up the browser and I will show you how you can use the browser and turn on the apps. This is the dashboard of the Brave Browser. When you use Brave Browser, you can earn something called the Basic Attention Token or BAT. There are a couple of ways how you can earn these tokens. One of them is every time you open a new browser tab and you look at the Brave Browser home screen or dashboard, you will see a background image. Often that background picture will be some beautiful picture of nature, but sometimes it will be a sponsor content and you will basically earn a small amount of basic attention token. Or you will receive a notification on your device and when you click on the notification, it will show you a sponsor content. And for that again you will earn some basic attention too. I must clarify one thing that Brave Browser will not make you rich but it is kind of an additional benefit that I get to use the browser that's very fast and performance better than other browsers. It provides me faster service and uses less resources and on top of that I get a little amount of money as well. And once you have earned a certain amount of money, you can sign up or link your browser with your Uphold wallet. And once your account is verified, your coins will be transferred from Brave Browser into your Uphold wallet. From there you can either exchange them, transfer them and so on. You can also disable advertising in the browser settings. You can enable the auto contribution feature as well, which means you earn attention tokens and some of your basic attention tokens will be donated to your favorite YouTubers, Reddit and so on, if they are verified with Brave Browser. Now should you use CryptoTab to mine cryptocurrency while you are browsing or would it be smarter to use the Brave Browser? In my opinion, it makes sense to use the Brave Browser because it is faster uses less resources, less battery power and on top of that you can make some earnings from the ads. That's all I have for you. 
If you have any questions about Brave Browser, you can put your questions down in the comment box and I will answer them as soon as I get some time. Thank you for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, it's goodbye. Thank you.